All right, pedal box, what are we looking like? So, still has the fulcrum. It doesn't look like it'll be too bad to add all this crap. Um, there's our hole. All right, so I gotta try to eyeball how long I'm gonna need for the line here. Oh, wow, all those are super loose. That's really sketchy. Tighten all that back down. Um, but yeah, I've got my flare here. So I think I'll probably start with like three feet of line and we'll bend it up, feed it through the floor. Let's see where we're at. I actually want to see if the car will start as well because that ring gear, the whole combination of things is kind of sketchy. Well, it starts. The starter doesn't sound super great, the engagement wise, but it does work. That's cool. All right, got my M12 and my M10. Oops, sorry. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Excellent. So let's get this through the floor and see how close we ended up. All right, so I've got my old master just set in here. Just to take a look at everything. Got the line going through, so let's go back under now and see what we can get done. Okay, so I think the routing will end up working just fine. Everything looks really, really good. I haven't tightened it down or anything. Um, still need to make a mount, but I need to get some flat bar steel. Uh, my plan is to make a mount that bolts into the back here, comes up a bit, and then just has a little bit of a ledge. Then I'm gonna run a nice hard rubber mount between that, um, and a bar that comes just behind it here. And I'm gonna hang that, either potentially from the original carrier, which is way up there. Um, if I can make that work, I probably will use that. Uh, if not, I'll make a new crossbar as well. Um, but I think that's kind of my plan. So anyway, there is the uh, stock mount. It's actually for the 240D. Um, yeah. I, I think I should be able to make a mount that still avoids the flex disc here, comes up at an angle. It's gonna be tight, um, but I think that should still work. I'd rather not reinvent the wheel if I don't absolutely have to. And I'm not gonna hard mount it this time like I did before. The vibration I think was causing some issues and potentially causing those torque converter bolts to loosen up, so. Not sure, but that's my tentative plan. But like I said, I just need some flat bar first and then uh, I'll grab a mount and then start measuring it up and figuring out exactly what I need to do. But I think it'll work. So I think the new plan is gonna actually be mount this on top of the sheet metal here. You can see the Mercedes shifter piece is pretty much right in line with where I want this to be. So I may have to cut this section of the car out as well, just to get that shifter rod in there. But I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. So I'm gonna get my cutting disc on and I'm gonna cut this off, the sides off, and that top piece off. Drill four holes for mounting. And we'll see what's what. Well, it wasn't quite wide enough with the bevel, but that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna put the shifter in there and then we're gonna lift the car up and let's see how far away that actually is. But I think that, that would be okay. I mean, worst case, you can actually even lift it up a little bit more. I mean, that's gonna be a really short throw shifter down there. Hmm. Yeah, let's put that together and see how it looks. I mean, that looks really good right there. So let's see what it looks like under the car. Dude. It's going to be 
pretty much perfect. I can make that work. Excellent clearance too. I'm not uh, not anticipating any issues. So I will cut up, <clears throat> excuse me, the short end of this linkage right here. And I will get some dowel. All right, hold on. Maybe I'll do this off camera and come back to it. No, yes. No, we're good. Uh, anyway, so yeah, tentative plan, I guess, is just to merge those two. Nice. I think this will work. All right, single tack weld just to test the concept. Using the C class front section and the E30 rear section. Looks like it's slightly too long, but that's a good thing, actually. Much easier to shorten than it is to lengthen. And it's a single tack, so I'm gonna go up into the car and let's see where we bottom out. Keep in mind the trans will be going up a little bit too, which will actually effectively lengthen this rod. So I'll definitely have to shorten it a little bit, but I'm a-okay with that. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get footage of this because I'll have to hold the shifter. But I'm gonna try just shifting the gears real quick and see what it feels like. All right. So that is pretty much perfect as far as the centering is concerned. Yeah, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that actually. That falls to hand pretty nice. Hmm, that's a cool sight. <laughs> it's not perfect but it doesn't look too bad i'm just taking you guys along for the ride i want to see if it's anything other than the shifter arm that is bottoming out on the actual tunnel and it doesn't look like it so i probably will cut those ears off just to gain a little bit more space um everything measures really really nice up here however i would benefit from another three quarters of a degree and I think I can get that um, by cutting off that tab, which I don't need anyway, since I'm doing a chassis mount shifter. I did throw two E21 mounts right up here, and those seem to fit pretty nice. So I think I'm gonna get the cardboard CAD going, and we'll get a mount design set up in cardboard, and then I'll get some bar stock and we'll transfer it over to steel. All right, there's my cardboard CAD mount. Or pretty close to what I'm going to expect anyway. I do still have the little dimples to cut in, but I'm going to take this out real quick and we'll take a look at it. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much what the trans mount's going to look like. Well, amazingly, I actually have some decent steel cutoff chunks from another project, so I do have enough steel here to make this mount. And... I may get going on it. I think I want a cutoff wheel for this, but maybe I'll see what I can get through with my Sawzall blades. This is thick steel. This is 3 16 or quarter. I use this for the uh, M3 trailer hitch project, but perfect size for the vertical plate. And if I weld the two together, I should have enough steel to get the uh, rear piece too. Uh, my drill isn't here, so even if I can get this done today, I can't actually make the holes in it, but... Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Actually, I have a drill press. I might be wrong. Yeah, the drill press worked just fine. So I got them all hogged out. Those are the big boys. These fit just fine on the mounts. So I'll have to stitch those together. Um, but yeah, there's the steel equivalents to all of those parts. And that should make for a reasonably feasible mount, frankly. Well, fugly as always, but... Uh, it's it's holding up on its own there and i think that'll do just fine so um yeah i do have to fill this thing with fluid still i still have to put the flex disc in it i still have to finish up the actual shifter linkage um, which is i mean it's close to the drive shaft now that it's all mounted up there it's really close nope that's touching okay good to know so i will have to build up the shifter in the car a little bit all right good to know um 
I still have yet to trim. Come on. I still have yet to trim the ears off the transmission up there. Uh, those are bottoming out. But everything looks phenomenal here. Um, yeah, rotates super nice. Sorry, it's really, really hard to get uh, video footage up here, but it looks just perfect. So we're definitely getting there. Lots of progress for today, but I might call it for the day. Uh, just because I don't really want to deal with the inside of the car right now. And the pedals are going to be... Oof, I'm going to have a hard time finding motivation for that. But uh, yeah, there we go. It's kind of mounted and doing its own thing right now. So we're definitely getting closer. Okay, so now that I've taken all the hardware out of the old Clutch Master Cylinder, and I've got that sitting right here, the new one is in this box. The old one is technically in the car right now. I am going to start uh, detensioning this spring because I do have uh, intent to transfer it over. And then I'll be able to remove this all safely uh, with the interest of reinstalling it. It looks like the pin's a little pitted, but not too terrible. I don't know, I think that should be okay um, for the, the new master. I will probably transfer the pedal pad over since I have one on the brake pedal in the car and I do not have one on the clutch pedal here. Um, but this should be pretty easy to transfer over to the car itself and I do want to get that sort of set up. Um, I think I set aside, I did. I have a 94 to 95 BMW um, 5 Series clutch master cylinder. Uh, reservoir. Actually, this might be an aftermarket one, but they look almost identical. It's just a, a secondary reservoir with a threaded lid on it for clutch fluid. Um, that's going to be important because I need to put my power bleeder on it because I usually work alone. And then, of course, I've got my BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen clutch fluid feed hose. Um, that should all be okay as long as I can find or make a hole in the firewall for it. But yeah, I'm going to basically get the clutch pedal off of this pedal box and then go shove it in the car. And then hopefully just kind of go from there. All right, so I taped a little piece of steel on top of the drive shaft before I bring the car back down to work on the pedals. That will give me a better indication of where I need to actually mount the shifter inside the car. So anyway, pedals first, um, but I do need to cinch up the drive shaft so I make sure I've got that at the right uh, height for accurate you know, installation. Okay, quick sum up. Uh, I did get the pedal in. I have not tightened the spring down yet. But like, this is as far up as the clutch pedal goes. So, I mean, I think that'll be okay, but man, the brake pedal, I didn't realize how far up I had that. So, the pedals are not gonna be very ergonomically fantastic. Um, the line's hand threaded. This cylinder will work just fine. However, the actual uh, cast pieces on it are way narrower. So I had some plastic spacers I got from one of those Vesa wall mount TV things. And it's close up there, but it fits. So I'm going to be throwing the washers and the nuts. Uh, and tightening that down, and then I'm going to tighten down all four of those 13s. I was noticing that this little clevis here needs some thread lock too, so I'm just going to thread lock everything, tighten it down. I do have the clutch fluid hose hooked up to it there, um, so I'm making progress, but this sucks, man. It really sucks. Well, there you can see, that's like some minimum clearance I have there. So I'm going to be sectioning, I'll make two straight lines cut up there. I'm going to lift up that entire piece of the body right there. And I think I'm going to set that as my height for the shifter. Unfortunately, the shifter linkage fell off to the side here, so I can't show you where that sits. And I'm not sure that the length on that's perfect, but I need to get this situated first. So I'll probably have to build some sort of little steel box. But I need to get room for the linkage up here and then room just to get the uh, linkage elevated a little bit. So I gotta do that for sure, but I don't wanna damage my drive shaft, so that will mean 
uh, getting the car back up in the air and pulling the drive shaft. Okay, so I ground the bottom of the linkage as flat as I could just to try to maintain everything, but yeah, we used the C-Class front section and the E30 rear. I did take a little more of the curve out of it, so we'll see if that helped. Time to throw this back in. Looks like I will still have to trim off uh, that area up there just a little bit. The rest of the trans fits okay, but now that this is settled for a day, and you can't really see here, but I measured it and there is some sag. So I'm just gonna shim up from the bottom of the mounts here until I can get that addressed up there. Um, Hopefully I can reach a saw up there and trim them off without pulling the transmission, but worst case, I'll just pull the trans. Once more, uh, I do have to fill it with fluid as well. But yeah, man, we are getting, we're getting really close. It's, it's been really nice to feel an actual shifter in this car for the first time in 13 years. But that's all for, uh, for this segment, I think. Making good progress, but I don't want to overdo it.